Hello YouTube, how are you guys doing, guys and girls? So today I decided to talk briefly about sugar. Before I even contemplated starting the ketogenic diet, I was uh, very unhappy with my current diet. I uh, always felt sluggish, tired, this and that, and I wasn't happy. I was increasing weight. I couldn't lose weight, especially, you know, when you hit your 30s and, and it's not as easy as when you're 20s and, and, and uh, lose weight. You can lose weight pretty much easy when you're in your 20s. So uh, what I decided to do is I want to cut out the offenders, the big offenders first. So what I did is I quit sugar. And how I achieved that is I looked at my diet and I said, okay, what are the biggest problems with my diet? I realized I had a lot of chocolates and sweets. I had a sweet tooth and that sweet tooth is an indication of, uh, you know, uh, maybe your body needs nutrition and it's, uh, it, it, it's craving more nutrition. So what I started to do is, uh, replacing uh, re sorry replacing all the sugars with fruit and I uh, started picking uh, fruit that is uh, that are not very very high in sugars not like bananas and, and and grapes those are super high in sugar I started picking like um, berries and um, what else berries strawberries blueberries blackberries and I also picked kiwis and I said these are my official fruit I'm going to start eating these uh, after breakfast so that they're not the first thing that hits my stomach. And uh, I would eat them around 11, 12, and that would satisfy me for the whole day. If I, and I realized if I didn't eat fruit during the day, I would go and eat something with sugar in the afternoon. So I had to play smart with my body and wean myself out of the sugar slowly. So when I quit sugar, I said no more refined sugar and I was reading all the labels and anything that has high fructose corn syrup, which is sugar, uh, a cheap form of sugar, uh, I quit. And also anything that has sugar, everything, all drinks, everything. So I started to do uh, tea and if I wanted to sweeten my tea or something, I'd use stevia. So that went on for a long time. I mean, I'm not here just out of magic and from one day to another. It took me many years to get to where I am. So I quit sugar about seven, eight years ago and then slowly I would fall back into it. I'd eat chocolate, I'd eat sweets, I'd eat, I'm addicted to scones. I was addicted to scones. Today I make them and I, I make them with stevia and I make them with a, like a, um, a almond uh, meal, uh, uh, flour or I use um, also other flowers that are not um, that are not real flour. So um, this is how I did it and the most important thing I did is I cleaned all my cupboards, I threw out everything that had sugar and um, also what I did is I made sure I always had fruit in the morning and slowly my cravings went away and I adapted my body to eating fruit instead of sugar, of uh, plain um, refined sugar. So that was the first step I did for, for many years. I followed that, you know, you, you fall, you fail, and then uh, you go back on track. This is life. You don't expect yourself to just from one day to another uh, switch to a low carb uh, ketogenic diet. It's just, I would doubt that it would work. And if it did work, it would work for a specific time and then you would probably not be able to sustain it long term because our bodies have sugar is a fermentation uh, you know sugar is used to ferment things if you, if you uh, research it and there is a fermentation in your gut flora that happens that fermentation has to go down slowly and that doesn't happen overnight you have to quit sugar and then refine sugar quit refined sugar first and then see how you do and then slowly when you feel that you are ready then you can uh, quit carbohydrates like uh, rice potatoes and, and starches you know then slowly you can get yourself into the ketogenic diet but I don't see that it's possible to just jump from one from high sugar your intake you will your your gut flora will not feel well you will not be feeling well and 
you will not be able to do that. I'm not saying that you have to do it for eight years or seven years like I did, but I think slowly and methodically would work uh, better and long term. So that's my take on uh, quitting sugar. And also if you befriend people that are willing to improve their health is very important because if you're surrounded by people that don't care and eat sugar and drink alcohol all day, the likelihood of you succeeding is less than if you are hanging around people that are on the same journey as yourself or at least they are, they are willing to improve your health. I wish you luck and if you have any questions, leave them below and like my video. I'm making videos every day. If you have questions or, or comment, leave them below as well. Thank you very much and good luck. Bye.